So Octavia, this is such a different vehicle for you. What made you say yes to this script? I said yes to this script because I am a true uh, horror genre, psycho thriller uh, fan. And um, I'd never seen a woman of color uh, headline a film like this. And so I wanted to be a part of it because it was it's a lot of fun, but some of the social uh, messaging in it um, means a lot. I also think of it as a cautionary tale. So, a lot of reasons. <laughs> well, let's talk about how you go off the rails real quick with her. So how is it playing someone like her? Well, Sue Ann is, uh, playing Sue Ann, um, or someone like her was a lot of fun, actually, um, because I, it's just nothing, I've never done anything like it. And I had to do a lot of research to, she exhibits a lot of traits uh, for a lot of disorders. And so I just did a lot of research on what those disorders were. And then um, everything she did made sense, everything. And there's something so relatable about this movie. Can you talk about some of the themes and how it's pretty much a movie that everyone can see themselves in? I think it's relatable because it is a movie that people can see themselves in is because at some point in all of our lives, we felt like the odd man out. And Sue Ann was definitely the odd person out. Uh, and, and who doesn't want to fit in? Until you reach a certain age, you realize you kind of don't have to fit in. To me, that's when you become an adult, when you realize you don't have to fit in. Um, and Sue Ann never reaches that. She never, never realizes that she doesn't have to fit in. And that's another reason why I wanted to play her. Because, you know, what an interesting person. And this movie, I mean, a lot of people are saying it's a great horror movie, but I feel like it's so much more than a horror movie because you think horror, slap, you get a scare. Mm -hmm. But this to me is so much more intense and frightening on a different level. Can you talk about that? This movie is uh, more frightening uh, than a horror film because it feels very truthful. It feels very truthful that your kids would be down and somebody who is much older than them uh, uh, plying them with alcohol. Um, but saying, I'm going to make sure you guys have a, a safe driver to, to get you home safely, it feels very real. Um, it feels very real uh, that she would make herself available to do that and befriend these kids. So that's why it's more terrifying because it can actually happen. And it must have been so fun to reunite with Tate because you guys have the history of the hell, but you guys were roommates before. I mean, talk about your relationship with Tate and how this came about. I love Tate. We, um, we were PAs together on A Time to Kill, and we uh, shared our dreams and have been a part of each other's dreams from the moment that we met. And we, every film that he's ever done except for Girl on the Train, I've been a part of. And uh, Alice and Janney has been a part of every film that he's ever done, except for um, uh, Get On Up. He's true to his friends. <laughs> okay, last question. I have to end with this because I want to know, what do you relate to most when it comes to Ma? The movie or the character? What I relate to most uh, to Sue Ann uh, is, uh, again, back to the fact that Everyone at some point in their lives felt like the odd person out. And um, I just want to say to kids and anybody who sees this, it's okay to be the odd person out. You don't have to fit in. You know, march to your own drum beat. Sometimes it's okay to have your own song. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.